Hello, welcome to Deerstream English. My name is Louis, I'll be your teacher. This is the second video in a series which is going to help you answer everyday English conversations. So let's begin. Okay, so this is called, what would you say if you are sick and you call your boss to tell them that you cannot work? Well, I have five examples here. So first one is, I'm sorry, I'm sick and I cannot come to work. I'm sorry, I'm sick, and I cannot come to work. The next one is, I apologize, which is similar to saying I'm sick or I'm sorry. Say, I'm apolo I apologize because I am sick and I cannot come to work. I apologize. Okay, the first common daily situation is if you are sick, and you need to call your boss and tell them you cannot come in to work. So I've prepared five different responses. So just listen to my examples. First, you could say, I'm sorry, I don't feel well, and I cannot come to work. I'm sorry, I don't feel well, I cannot come to work. The next one is, I apologize, but I do not feel well, and I cannot come to work. I apologize, but I do not feel well, and I cannot come to work. I cannot come to work because I am ill. Ill, I-L-L. -L. I cannot come to work because I am ill. I hope you understand that I am too sick to come to work. I hope you understand that I am too sick to come to work. I will complete my work tomorrow. I will complete my work tomorrow. So I hope that gives you five good ways to respond to this situation. Let's go to the next one. Someone asks you to go out for dinner, but you are busy. What would you say? I'm sorry but I am busy and I cannot come to dinner. I'm sorry, but I am busy and I cannot come to dinner. Maybe next time we can have dinner together. Maybe next time we can have dinner together. I appreciate the offer, but I am too busy and I cannot come to dinner. I appreciate the offer, but I am too busy and I cannot come to dinner. I am available next Wednesday. I am available next Wednesday. I would like to go, but I have too many things to do. I would like to go, but I have too many things to do. There's five ways you can respond to this situation. Your child is upset because you told them they cannot play video games. What would you say? Number one, you shouldn't play video games because it's bad for your eyes. You shouldn't play video games because it's bad for your eyes. Instead of playing video games, you can go outside. Instead of playing video games, you can go outside. Playing video games too much is bad because... Why is it bad? <laughs> playing video games too much is bad because you need to do your homework. Playing video games too much is bad because you need to do your homework. You can play video games after dinner. You can play video games after dinner. Okay, do you have kids? Do your kids like video games? Well, maybe you can use some of these phrases to help you. The next one is, you are talking to a friend about the weekend. This weekend, I will play basketball on Sunday. 
This weekend, I will play basketball on Sunday. If you are free this weekend, you should meet me for coffee. If you are free this weekend, you should meet me for coffee. I cannot come to your house this weekend because I'm going away. I cannot come to your house this weekend because I'm going away. Going away means you're leaving the city. You're going on vacation or holiday. If you are free on Sunday, meet me at the park. If you are free on Sunday, meet me at the park. Oh, I really need a rest because I've been working so hard. I really need a rest because I've been working so hard. What would you say when you're talking about movies with a friend? I didn't like that movie because it was too long. I didn't like that movie because it was too long. I liked that movie because it was exciting, exciting. I liked that movie because it was exciting. I think my favorite kinds of movies are fantasy and science fiction. I think my favorite types of movies are fantasy and science fiction. Movies these days are too boring. Movies these days are too boring. The best movies have great stories and music. The best movies have great stories and music. So you can use these sentences in your daily life. Oftentimes we will have conversations around these topics and you can just use these sentences and improve your English. So thank you for watching the video and good luck studying.